Looking at all of this, you wouldn't guess that yesterday we had a party going on here at the house. But what is going on, Sax family? How are you guys all doing today? I hope you had a fantastic day. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. Welcome back to the daily vlog. If you're not yet subscribed and a part of the family, well, hit that sub button, turn on post notifications to so never miss out on any videos that I post here on the channel. Hey, good morning, Zeus. How you doing, puppy? You're a good dog. Hey, Ma, I got a quick question. How are you feeling today? Better? Exhausted. You're exhausted? Tired while you're doing? Taking a nap? Good, you deserve one. My mom and I literally just got home. We went and returned all the chairs and tables from the uh, place where we got them. Come on, puppy, let's go on in here to the garage. And uh, while we were out, I decided to pick up my fire helmet because I don't know if you guys, well, you guys haven't really seen it, but uh, there's a lot of like just chips of paint coming off. So I'm going to take some black spray paint and uh, just touch my helmet up real quick so it looks a lot better than like, you know, all that stuff. I mean, if you take a look right here, you just see paint chipped off, paint chipped off there, paint chipped off there, major paint chipped off there. And I want to fix that so my helmet looks nice and presentable. I have some black spray paint right here and what I'm going to do is just take the spray paint and spray it into this cup so it becomes like nice and watery in a way and then use this brush, take the brush, dip it in there and then paint the helmet. Well, that was easy, except for one little thing. Uh, I found out that spray paint right there kind of eats through plastic cups, and yeah, so some of that paint went out onto this, like, cover here, but that's okay, uh, because the helmet now is nice and all cleaned up again. Uh, for anybody that's ever interested in getting a leather helmet, that's what I have, uh, but yeah, so that problem is taken care of. I haven't really vlogged much all day, but uh, I've been hanging out with Jake over here, Seb over here, and uh, we came outside because one of my neighbors was shooting off fireworks, and we're like, oh, hey, let's go watch this real quick, and we were watching the fireworks, and this lady comes out of nowhere yelling at me and Jake, saying, we're the people who sent off fireworks when the people that were living at their house just left real quick because uh, they had somewhere to be. And uh, we're just out here talking, BSing, having a good time. This lady's like, calling the cops on you guys. You guys are sending off fireworks. And I'm like, ma'am, where's the proof? We're not the ones doing it. I got security cameras all over the place. Go ahead, call the cops. I'm friends with 90-something percent of the cops in my town. And why I just tell them that you came here on my property and got up in my face, basically trespassed when I told you to get off my property when we did nothing wrong, you're the one that's going to be in trouble yourself. I mean, I don't know, Jake. What do you think about that? That lady in general. She can hold my nuts. <laughs> what about you, Seb? She can suck mine. She can? I mean, like, dude, like, the fact that she has the nerves to come up on my property and just start talking shit to me, blaming me for me shooting off fireworks when tonight we were not doing any fireworks because uh, all the fireworks we had, by the way, were from Florida and we used the rest of them in the party vlog. And all we're doing is we came outside, we saw somebody shooting off fireworks, just uh, talking to each other and just having a good time enjoying the summer weather. I don't weather. think it was a girl. I think you were just like a really feminine dude. You think uh, so? That was an old lady. It's literally, it was an old lady? Yeah. It's I literally can't tell if it was an old lady or an old man. Uh, yeah. But literally, it's 1030 at night and it's like, we can't be here on the front of my property just talking like normal people. I mean, dude, listen, people need to grow the fuck up, especially when you live all the way down the road. Like, she does, she's not even one of my surrounding neighbors. I'm like, ma'am, just get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Um, I feel like to pick up the camera. I'm gonna sit here and wait for the cops, see if she literally called them. Um, she did. I'm gonna have the camera rolling for you guys as well, just so you guys could see that. So it's been about 20 minutes later since the whole entire situation happened. Uh, Jake went home, he had some things to go do, and same with Seb. And I'm just sitting here right now, still waiting for the cops. Honestly, I don't think she called them at all. And uh, if she did, good for you, man, because uh, you just made war with your neighbors. Falsely accusing me and my friends for doing something when we had nothing to do with it. I just got a phone call said, hey, I'm in the middle of laying off fireworks. Come outside, you should watch them. I came outside, saw the person do it. I was like, oh, that's cool, man. And then me and my friends just stayed outside to talk because it's really nice out. The weather right now is not too hot. It's not too cold. It's that perfect summertime uh, weather out here. I'm like, ma'am, you just made war with the wrong person. You don't come to my house on my property screaming and yelling at me, accusing me and my friends for doing something that we never did. So uh, next time you threaten to call the cops on me, uh, how about this? You actually call them, 
let them come here just know they're gonna realize that you are a psychotic bitch i mean this lady is so dumb she doesn't realize i have camera there and we had security cameras all around the house. I can easily have her charged if I wanted to tonight for trespassing and basically, I guess you could say verbal assault, uh, getting up and screaming and yelling at me in my face and also yelling at my friends too. Hey guys, it is current day and I am a lot less pissed off than I was last night from that lady when she came on my property and started accusing Jake and I for shooting off fireworks. Literally, I went outside because Jake was getting ready to leave. Also, at the same time, my neighbor called me. He's like, hey, I'm shooting off fireworks. You should come outside. So me and Jake looked at them we're like oh that is cool and then me and jake were just outside talking for a few minutes before he was going to leave and then the lady came up and just started a giant situation um I, I don't i don't get why people are just so miserable and so stuck up about the tiniest things like fireworks are legal here in new jersey like you just going out coming on my property and then accusing me of setting fireworks off that night when i wasn't is kind of uh i guess you could say rude in my opinion but who knows, uh, if she comes back at any other vlog, I'm gonna make sure I get her in the video. Especially if she's on my property again, because she can't say a damn thing about it, because man, you're then trespassing, you're on my property, and by the way, I can film and do whatever if I'm on my property, so, good for you. If you want war, I'll give you war. If you want to be an asshole neighbor, I'll be an asshole neighbor right back to you. It's uh, a very, you know, easy thing to do. I mean, we like to have good times. We like to actually live a life and enjoy our lives here at this house. I mean, if you're so miserable and you don't enjoy anything or people haven't happy, I guess, guess what? Move out of your house and move somewhere else. If you don't like people having fun and having a good time, if you're that miserable, like move somewhere else, move to the middle of the woods, move into the mountains where nobody could bother you at all. But just don't come to my house accusing me for doing something that I was not doing. I don't know, guys. Um, not much going on in the vlog today uh, for you guys besides that whole entire thing. There's just a lot going on outside of the vlog itself. Uh, I'm working on some big things for the channel and for you guys, and it's kind of taking a lot more time for with that than the vlogs itself, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, you know, it's like the future of the videos and then the current state of the videos. I want the, the future to always be better. But also on top of that, yesterday I went around and kind of rearranged my room. We, uh, we got that old little nightstand there now set up. We put this rack right here, which basically has all my gear. It was initially over there. I don't own a dresser right now, so basically all my clothes are just right there. But... Uh, that was right or yeah that thing was there so I moved it to here and we got the camera set up itself going so I don't know that's gonna wrap it up for the video today I'm just I'm tired of stupid people at the same time I'm just tired of people that are just so miserable that don't understand that you get one life you should enjoy it you should live it to the fullest and do whatever you want regardless of what people think like lady I wasn't even the one shooting off fireworks last night and the fact that you came to my house and you started a problem, uh, you're only making a bigger problem for yourself, literally. Uh, because anytime you try doing anything, guess what, I'll have it on vlog, I'll have it on video and uh, I'll just actually show the world how much of a complete a-hole you were to me and Jake last night. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. You kept a smile on your face. I just... Oh, man, I, I just I just want people to like not be stupid and at the same time to use common sense literally This lady doesn't know know anything in my opinion like she doesn't know they're legal And I just I don't know I'm kind of frustrated about the whole entire situation So because somebody literally came on my property accusing me, but sex family. I love you guys Remember you can do anything you put your mind to remember to stay positive until next time It's been your boy Jeff keeping it real. I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna peace out and well Peace.